Hey guys, this is going to be a quick video to show you how to use total record counts that's available on the table widget. So taking a look at the app I have right now, I have a simple table that is paginated using the movies database available on AppSmith. So let me show you around a bit. So if I go to the query section, I have the get movies query and this is built using the movies database. That's the sample movies database available on AppSmith. And taking a closer look at the get movies query, you can see that the query is actually paginated using the limits and the skip sections right here. So I can head back to the table, I can page through it, and it's going to fetch new records for the pages selected. But the problem right now is that I can keep going and it's going to fetch records for pages that do not exist. And you can see right here, we have empty pages showing up. So in order to fix this, we can use the total record count available on the table widget. So let's just head back to page three, which I know is the last page. And taking a look at the table widget property, we have the total record count section right here, where I can provide the total number of records in the collection. And that's going to be used to handle the page navigation buttons we have right here. And it's going to disable it whenever we've run out of records for the selected table. All right, so let's go into configure this. So in order to grab the total records count for the selected movies collection, what I need to do is go write a query to grab all of the counts of the documents. So I can go here, um, go to the movies query, create a new query, and let's call this get count, all right? And for the command is going to be the count command, for the collection is going to be the movies collection, and for the query, I'm just going to count all documents. So running this is going to give me the total record counts, which is a number that is equal to 20. So I can head back here to the table widget and over here in the total record counts, I can display that information or bind that information right here. So this is going to be getCounts.data.n. And uh, taking a look at the table widget, you can see that the page navigation button is handled automatically and the next page button is disabled. That's because by providing the total record count, the table widget is going to be able to figure out that it would have been able to display a total of 20 records um, at the third page of the table. So it actually disables the next button and here we don't have the next button enabled. But I can go page through the other pages and this works as expected. All right, so this has been the total records count property. If you found this helpful, please do get subscribed and I'll see you in the next video. Take care, bye-bye.